Well, things apparently aren't settling down in the most powerful gun lobby in America ahead of the 2020 election. Another top staffer is out at the NRA. Jennifer Baker is her name, the director of public affairs for its lobbying arm. Follows a string of other high-profile exits, an alleged coup, and accusations of financial misconduct. Our political correspondent Sarah Murray has been following the turmoil closely. The gun rights group that helped propel Donald Trump to the White House. So to get the endorsement, believe me, is a fantastic honor. Now engulfed in turmoil. In April, the NRA sued its longtime ad agency, Ackerman McQueen, the same agency that created this iconic Second Amendment message featuring Charlton Heston. From my cold, dead hands. The bitter split was roiling the NRA behind the scenes at their annual meeting weeks later in Indianapolis. You are great American patriots. Chris Cox, Wayne LaPierre, Oliver North, three extraordinary champions for the Second Amendment. But North, then the NRA president, was on his way out. A day earlier, NRA CEO Wayne LaPierre told the board of directors North was trying to extort him. LaPierre claimed North told him to step down as CEO or face a smear campaign. North was effectively ousted. We defend our flag, our national anthem, and the heroes they represent. It turns out North was one of the faces of the NRA that was actually financed through Ackerman McQueen. It's so good to see all of you here. The ad agency also paid spokeswoman Dana Lash's salary. It crafted NRA marketing, placed ads during election cycles, and produced NRA TV. The embarrassing allegations North warned about emerged online posted anonymously and verified by CNN. They painted a picture of financial mismanagement at the NRA, with LaPierre at the helm and North sounding the alarm. LaPierre makes $1.4 million from the NRA. On top of that, Ackerman picked up the tab for $275,000 for LaPierre's high-end Italian clothing, $240,000 for his travel to destinations including the Bahamas and Italy, and $14,000 for an apartment for a summer intern. The NRA said they were all legitimate business expenses. A letter from North to NRA board members questioned the NRA's spending habits and the $24 million in legal fees the NRA shelled out over 13 months. The NRA disputes that sum. All of this dysfunction delighting the NRA's critics. It's like watching a five-alarm fire, but what's amazing about this is that the NRA itself lit the match. I think that they are going to be hobbled, and I think that this is just going to play out day by day, week by week, month by month, leading up to 2020, and it will keep them on the sidelines. The NRA and Ackerman officially severed ties, shutting down NRA TV as a result, bringing an end to controversial broadcasts like this one, mocking diversity in the Thomas and Friends children's show by putting KKK hoods on the trains. Oh, was it because... I see it. It was the white hoods and the burning train tracks. Okay, fine, fair point, fair, I get it. Then the NRA dropped another bombshell, accusing chief lobbyist Chris Cox of working alongside Oliver North to overthrow Wayne LaPierre. Cox denied the allegation to the New York Times, but soon resigned. The departure unsettling for GOP donors and lawmakers Cox built close ties with. Cox had a warm relationship with Trump, too, and he was the chief strategist behind the NRA's election efforts. He agitated for more spending on digital, less on the red meat being served up on NRA TV, sources told CNN. While the NRA scrambles for stability. I don't have to fire you up. You already have that fire in your belly. Democrats are readying for a fight. I'm the only guy ever nationally beat the NRA. I have a D minus voting record from the NRA. The NRA holds Congress hostage. The NRA says it's happy to be underestimated. We are very focused on 2020, an NRA spokesman tells CNN. Our members know what's at stake, from draconian gun control schemes, from gun confiscation to registration. So they will be out in force, and the NRA will make sure of it. Sarah Murray, CNN, Washington.